Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an ASUS laptop and this particular ASUS, the model, the model on this one at the back it says Model X541N model and in this video I'm going to show you guys how to open it up and how you can increase the RAM if it's possible to increase because many of you guys keep asking me if I can increase the RAM and so in this video I'm going to cover that. So first thing first, you want to power off the laptop completely, make sure it's powered off. Then you want to flip it over in, on the back side and on this model the battery is not removable. So we're going to see a whole bunch of screws everywhere right here. So you need to grab yourself a, a screwdriver set. I use always the iFixit uh, screwdriver set and they have a pro version kit that they give you with the pliers and uh, opening tools. But I'm going to be using a uh, Philips number zero from this tool set. Instead of using the opening tool that they come with a kit, I prefer to use my old uh, guitar pick. This is a metallic guitar pick with a soft edges. It's pretty much the same that they include in the Pro, Pro kit. All right, so what we're going to do right now, we're going to start from the bottom corner and we're going to remove the front row screws. So go ahead and remove the front row screws. These are the short screws. Also, I only see a few of the, my viewers subscribe to my channel. It would be really nice to see if you guys support me by subscribing and clicking that like button. It really helps and motivates me to make more videos and take requests and answer questions. I really appreciate it. All right, the front screws are the same size and height. So go ahead and remove the one by the VG and one right over here. These are a slightly bigger one. And next we're going to remove the corner screws. These are the same size as the corner one. So pretty much there's a two type of screws. The front end of the laptop, those are the short ones. And uh, from the mid towards the back, those are the long ones. Once you remove all these screws, all you need to do Grab yourself an opening tool and open up the laptop in like a 45 degree angle. And you want to stick the guitar pick in between the, let me see if I can get this one, between the bottom and the top cover right there. About two or three millimeters in. And now you want to just twist it. Go walk yourself, do all around, twist, and you're going to hear some clicks. That's what you want to hear. Okay, and go work yourself all the way to the corner back. Make sure you put your hand so it doesn't fall down. Do the other side. By the optic drive, go all the way to the back corner. Now you can see that this part is coming off. So don't let it drop because there's a flex cable that we need to remove. So what we need to do here, let me try to get this one in there. So we're going to open it up a little bit, slowly, gently. And the flex cable for the keyboard already popped out. So if yours didn't, I'm going to show you how to remove it. Now we need to unclip this one. So this put your finger at the back end and lift up this hinge. So you can remove the flex cable right there. Same thing for the keyboard. This one has to be up so you can remove the keyboard. But sometimes when you pull it up, the stress is just going to lift this one up. So don't worry about it. I'm going to show you a trick how to put it back together. The easiest way. So this is bottom cover. I mean the palmares. Uh, we can see the whole fan that is dirty. On this model, the RAMs are not upgradable. As you can see, the RAM dims are soldered on the board. So we're gonna flip over and see if there's a RAM available on the back. There's a RAM dim available at the, on the other side. Sometimes they have a RAM dim available on the other side. So let's go ahead and remove the screws for the motherboard. Before we do that, we gotta remove the screw on this corner for the battery. But we can't remove the battery if we don't remove this screw. And this screw right over here in the middle. So once you remove these two screws, let's go ahead and loosen up the screws for the motherboard. This one over here, the chrome one. And remove this screw for the heatsink cover. Remove the motherboard screw right away here. 
The one right over the bridge by the Wi Fi and the Wi Fi screw and the one at the back right here on the front end of the laptop. Once you remove those, now we need to unplug a few cables. Lift up this bridge cable by lifting up this black cover, the hinge upward. Use your finger to lift it up and pull the cable backward. Pull out the Wi Fi antenna. Grab yourself a tweezer. Don't yank on the cable. If you want, you can, or just pull this on the cover on the white, like pull it backward. And the fan cable. Now we need to remove this screw right over here. Now we can lift up this cover over here. Once we remove those, we can just go ahead and lift up the motherboard a little bit so we can detach the battery. We don't need to remove the flex cable for the screen and we just want to get to the RAM. So we flip over and guess what? The other RAM dim is saddled on the board. And this is the worst heatsink I ever seen. So yeah. So pretty much on this model, the end version, you cannot upgrade the RAM. Even if in your task manager it says there's a DIM 1 out of 2, DIM 2 out of 2 available in use, you cannot upgrade the RAM on these models. So for those people that keep asking me, no, you can, you should be able to. So there is a fact that you cannot do it. So now what we're going to do, we're going to slide back down the cover for the motherboard cover for this one this connects this board to this side so optic drive and the hard drive goes through here plug in the wi-fi board and let's go ahead and put the cover back on here plug in the cable for the fan and the speakers you just slide it from the one side inward now go ahead and put all this uh, screws on the motherboard And the chrome screw goes right by the hinges. Okay, so all the screws are the same size and except the screw by the hinges. Once you have this in, you want to go ahead and clean up the fan if you want to. So, and the last thing would be to grab the top cover, the palm rest. So in order to be able to reach the flex cable for the screen, you cannot align the top cover with the hinge. So you have to go to an offset position just like that and bring it down open up the lid on the hinge and grab it and then you want to slide it right under the cover right there make sure it's evenly inside and then close the cover right there and the same position in the same place grab the cable for the trackpad slide it right there and lock it down now it's slowly gently you want to bring it over to one side without lifting up and align it and then you just want to pinch the corners all the way to the side and the back all right and if you see any gap just pinch it now we're going to close it back down flip it over and let's put the screws back in i hope this video helped you guys and remove some doubts that you have about the ram that is upgradable or not so we know for a fact that for the model x 541 n version the ram r is not upgradable so if you like this video and helped you guys out to understand, please click that thumbs up button. I'll really appreciate it. And if you have any questions or requests, please leave them in the comment area and I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you guys in my next video. I'm just going to finish putting up the bottom screws. Remember the short ones are in the front end. And if you see any gap like that open right there, just pinch it, and that's it.